I wonder if you can kind of come with dot bat files, txt files, so why did we learn how? Hello everyone, what's the good lesson today? I'm going to show you a way to convert back to exe files. So eventually, the first thing is to have a bat file. In this case, it, it launches, it, 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 it just says exe lessons. So the next thing is to open the file in the a, a text editor, for example, text, text pad, notepad, or sublime. And eventually, in this case, I actually printed, echoed the, uh, a, echoed a, they echoed actually uh the lessons so the, the, the first thing is to go to the, the link virtually below i mean virtually and then just browse for the file that, that means the bad file then press the convert button to convert the file to exe file you can even use any other bad file but some things that are working bad do, doesn't work when you convert to exe that's a little bit of an issue but many things work virtually that is simple after it is converted, you had download the uh, bat uh, the, the exe file. Then you can show that file in folder and test it out. So actually, by my experience, some files don't work. But then you had to actually allow the US UAC to run the file. Then you can press that you can test out your file. If it doesn't work, you have to keep it in bad, but it's really good to run as executable. So this is Chris Lala Lessons. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with other friends on the internet. So this is Chris Lala Lessons. Uh, watch my last videos. This is Chris Lala Lessons. Turn up for you, my Chris Lala. So thank you for watching the lesson. Bye.